There you go. This is great victory. You're like, huh? What's going on? It's not a $65 cigar with this. All right, let's light it up. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony the Story Sass Assassin. So today we have a Chinese cigar for review. So welcome to the review. This is gonna be a little bit complicated because the information are very limited on these, okay? So let me introduce you to Great Wall 1918 93rd Great Victory. This is called Great Victory 1918. Alright. I don't know what they want, I uh, think, but apparently they do. Okay, so this is one of the premium stuff. This box is 3,800 yuan, which comes to about 600 and change, 640, 650-ish. Depends on what in, uh, rate that you want to convert it to. So that's the price for this, because I don't even know how much I pay for it, but when I look up, the receipt, that's how much I paid. So, 3,800 yuan. Divided by six. All right. Uh, this is the one, the premium. Definitely premium. You got multiple packaging for this. Outside is a paper box. Paper box. With an easy release flap. And then, velvet bag. And then a clear lacquer doo -doo 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 um, box. All right. It doesn't look like this print on. This looks like it's like sticker and then lacquer over. So so there's no like question or misprints or whatever. So we're gonna open this today and smoke one. Mm, should I just use my nail? I use my nail. I gotta open that seal. This is how it looks like inside. Oh. <laughs> All right, individual two bolt, ten two bolts in here. A we'll clear sleeve. Let's see what it says. Uh, okay, so it's saying that this particular tobacco location, Shifang, uh, established in 1918. It was the, one of the oldest, or considered oldest, tobacco uh, um, factory in China. And obviously, it's talk about this anti-Japan fighting against Japan, like, you know, that time area, time. And they feel like this represents that great victory when... Um, when uh, 1945, September 2nd, Japan has surrendered uh, in World War II. And that's a commemoration. So September 3rd, which makes that the 93 um, number for this particular iteration. So I don't know why it's still to celebrate, but you know, it's been a while, so. And keep in mind, this box has velvet bottom too. They deck this out. They deck this out. So now, let's take out one cigar tubo from the middle. And let's take a look. 
Okay. So uh, it should hold it this way. There you go. There you go. This is Great Victory. Nothing. Barco. Great Wall. 1918. That's it. And now I have a problem with that because um, I didn't know the tubo was a paper tubo, but it's the paper tubo. It's not metal tubo, which makes sense. It's got to be very heavy if it's metal tubo, but still. Paper tubo. Now I'll, I'll talk about it in one second. Just let me put it back. Put it back. Let me put this back. Let me put this back. Turn down my heat a little bit because it's weak, wicked hot with my jacket on. And put this back in there. So yeah, they tell me this is their premium. So this is their premium. But it's paper. Oh, it smells like, wow, perfumey. Yeah. So they say the tobacco came from Xifang. And <clears throat> let me find the mix for uh, you guys. All right. It says the tobacco includes Dominican, Brazil, Indonesian, and Xifang, which has Chinese tobacco in here. Okay. Chinese tobacco. And da -da 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 -da. yeah. I, I don't really like the, the paper box, but I will keep it. All right. In turn of the size, six by 52, maybe ish. I mean, oh, actually, no, this is 54, right? Six by 54. Six by 54. That's Toro. It's a Toro size. There we go. All right. Very, very, oh my God, cedary woodsy. Uh, cedary woodsy floral mm, that's pretty much it it's a, it's a pleasant smell it's a pleasant smell what I didn't like is this wrapper is somewhat rough Somewhat rough, heavy vein, somewhat rough. All right, so let's get right to it. Um, after I turn on the fan, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let's get started. Definitely not sweet cap. There's no sweetness to it, even though it kind of smells sweet. It is a triple cap, but the second and third cap is like very close to each other. I don't know. Ooh, what? Now the draw, the cold draw is already floral. Yeah, the cold draw is floral. With a little bit hint of pepper. So, let's light it up. Sides. Woodsy. Like I said, it's floral. Toasted nut. Some chili pepper, very little bit. Very little chili pepper. A mild um, bitterness to it. But that bitterness kind of dies into a woodsy tone. That floral tone 
is pleasant, but it kind of get killed off by that woodsy, uh, the bitter tongue to it too. All right, that floral is dying. You can tell that floral is very initial, and it starts to die to it very close to a toasted nut kind of mix. It's sweet. It's nutty, it's sweet, it's almost creamy. With a little bit of bitterness separately. So it tastes sweet and then bitter. Kind of cleans it up a little bit. Not bad. I'm going to try one third and I'll be right back with uh, what do I think about it. All right, so close to one third. It's burning a little bit off, but I will say this cigar is complex. And the best part isn't when you're taking a puff. But after you take that puff, you exhale. And the lingering taste is for you to search. Like there's like things on the table. There's cedar. There's wood. Even though cedar is kind of wood, uh, but there's different kind of wood tone, and then you have um, some sweetness, you have some floral, and then you have like a walnut, no chestnut, chestnut flavor, and that's kind of sweet. You get the sweet, nutty, almost toffee kind of combination of sweetness that's coming up right at that point like the end of one third it become something that's like hard to fathom like what was that because that sweetness is actually legit you can taste sweetness but this cigar is not flavored so it's it's like you work it you search for it and when you find it you're like, huh? What's going on? It's actually pretty nice. Yeah, smoke output is really nice. It's so... That sweetness is nice. Like, I, I have a hard time describing it, but that sweetness is freaking nice. It's like eating a dessert sweet. It's not just like imagination, because I took a few puffs. If you, you just slowly search for it, you find it and you go, ooh, that's sweet. So, first there, very impressive. Didn't disappoint for what it is, surprisingly. Um, but I just say, like, you know, just just the presentation, the 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 wrapper is just not that impressive. I don't know. Like by looking at it, you're like, yeah. But when you smoke it, you're like, oh. So this is one of those situations where when it looks like crap, it actually tastes good. I don't know. So, we'll continue. Second, third. We'll see where that goes. Be right back. Alright, second, third. It got even sweeter. Alright? Um, you can really get this toasted flavor. So, uh, like a charred sugar, woodsy tone with some toasted nut. I would say that's like a walnut or chestnut. I think it's closer to chestnut, but sweet. And like when you take the really deep puff, let it go, uh, you not go right your hill, through your nostril. Oh my God, it's so sweet. And um, it's got a little bit, just tiny, tiny, tiny bit of pepper. It's really, really good. Really, really good. But, but I want to put out there. Paper. Paper for a sixty-four dollar cigar, paper. You know, that bothers me a little bit. I don't think I think the cigar is great. Maybe a thirty-five dollar, forty dollar cigar, but it's not a sixty-five dollar cigar with this. All right, okay. With the package, I give it fifty, but sixty-five with paper, disappointing, disappointing. And plus, they say it's greatest victory, um, or great victory. But China didn't win a war. China didn't have a victory, right? 
you won the war against Japan because America decided to jump,、uh, throw to you, and they surrender. They didn't surrender to China. They surrender to U.S. So, what is the great victory? And I'm not trying to mock China or anything, but you can't just claim things that you didn't do. You know, it's like saying a American snowboarder won Olympic. But he, she's American. You say, "Oh, Chinese people won." No, she, you know what I'm saying. Doesn't work that way. Woodsy, almost like hey here and there too. But so far, not too bad. Didn't disappoint. In fact, it surprised me、uh, a little bit. But last there, let's finish up summary and the band. Be right back. So the last third, it just became a very normal cigar. It's woodsy.、Uh, it's got a little bit floral. The sweetness and everything else kind of died down a little bit.、Uh, it's not very special at the end, but I can see why. Like in time, it kind of died down and it became a normal cigar. So in the end, with all the packaging and everything, I will give it forty-five dollars. Definitely not sixty-five, but hey, it is what it is. So. If you can find one, go find one. If not, go find one. <laughs> It tastes good. So let's take a look at the band. This one, shiny. It basically just says the great victory. Ninety-three.、Uh, this one, it's a really thick paper. I'm trying to see what the emblem means. I can't tell the emblem is like. Really, like blend in. I can't tell what's on there. So,、mm, but you know, very standard band. Really thick paper, though. Really, really thick paper. I couldn't even rip it off. I had to take it off and rip it from the inside. So, this cigar will happen more or less perfect if the laster still have a lot of taste, but it doesn't. So, it is what it is. Anyways, that will be it for. This cigar review. I'm gonna send one to smoke one if you have one.、Uh, Eric, he's gonna review it later on.、Uh, so go check out his review when he when he releases. It. It's not gonna be a double same time to release review because I record this a lot earlier than he will have received it. So go check that out. And like I say, if you got an opportunity to find one, go find one. It's actually quite amazing of a cigar for the flavor, right? Sixty five dollars, a little bit expensive, but You gotta try different things, right? Trying different thing gets you the most out of this hobby. So, go do that. Anyways, if you like the review, make sure to like, subscribe, share.、Uh, I'm on track. Try to find a way to get to a thousand subscribers. So share it. Tell your friend. Go subscribe. Let's try to make one thousand. And that will be it for today. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.